Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my Let's Play of Endless Space where our second uh, colonizing fleet, even though we haven't actually colonized anywhere yet, is now setting out. It's going to take five billion years to get to Antares. Uh, let's progress for ships. He's just shy of getting to his new system. Construction completed, but you already have something next to build, so we'll dismiss that. And, um, actually, just out of curiosity, is there any system improvement to increase dust? And that one does, actually. And I wouldn't mind getting to the point where we're... Oh, we're actually currently losing money, so no, we definitely need this. The only problem is... I'm guessing that's going to be plus two per population of a planet, but we have because just generally on... Oh no, it doesn't have a general on planet, so it's going to be plus one. But we've got five at the minute, so that's definitely going to make money. Uh, end turn. And we really need the desert or something unlocked next so that we can keep colonizing that original system. Yeah, we're going to need somewhere else to live soon. Uh, research has been done. Brilliant. Uh, for now, just minimise. I'd like to come into here and... Alright, Desert, I'm guessing, is going to be the next one that we can colonise. It's going to be the only one that we can colonise next. So, let's go down to... This one was a desert? Yes. Let's get it. And progress the ships. Uh, exploration event. Discovery. Plus one population on planet with at least one population. Well, that went to here, and I think that's now capped us out. Yes, so it's really important now that we... I was expecting that to slide a bit more freely. Uh, oh, there's something that can be colonised here. Let's have a look at it. An ocean, and it has titanium stuff. It also looks like the next choke point, so... Let's colonise it. Missionary ship. Colonise, and there's only one choice for the moment. Although... Well, although it might be a large desert... They're not going to like being colonised there, even when I do get the desert thing, and yeah. So let's colonise the ocean planet. That means this fleet now has no orders. Uh, come down and just check this one out because it's near to us and then we can go back up and continue out of our constellation. Research completed. Yeah, we've already sorted that out. Resource exploitation allows the new development in all linked star systems. Sounds good. Dismiss. Oh, and our, our colours starting to spread down these little lines. Cool. Great things have small beginnings. Haggard, unsure, but full of hope, the first colony of your faction has set foot on another planet. It may seem trivial, but even the most epic adventure starts with a small step. Now really, I'm the first colony because we left the United Empire. We ununited from the United Empire to do that. Oh, wait, and I want to come in here now. Oh, no, when the construction is finished, actually, which... Probably be next turn. Damn it, I didn't want you to build the missionary still. And we don't have the technology yet. That's fine, but again, I didn't think I still had that missionary ship in there, but it's, yeah, it's fine. Hopefully there'll be one something here that we want to have a look at as well. Unless there's a very nice desert, I don't think so. Actually, that might not be a bad one with it having the rings. I think one food should be enough. I mean, the amount of other ones that have no food at all, so... Yeah, I'm hoping one food's enough to support a colony. Now 
mean, general medium desert, well, people don't like that, but I reckon that should be okay, an okay place to settle. Now you want to be heading right up there, see if there's maybe something better further on. Enter. Rigel 2 was our first colony, really do like that. Now you're going to get there probably in time to maybe even pick the desert one instead. Uh, progressive ships. Really? That's an exact distance. That's seven parsecs what you travel. Hmm. Large oh, arid. Yeah, that looks good to me. Colonize. Of course, on the large arid, because it's the only one that's colonizable. And no contact, but we have scores with them. Oh, they have scores. Yeah, and not scores with them. Uh, current status, plus seven dust. Okay, we're actually not doing bad on dust. Might want to try and increase our... Diplomacy don't care about. Academy don't care. Hmm. I say I'm just going to quickly drop a save game because... Oh, it is auto-saving good. Resume. Ha isn't there a list that I can access of all my star systems? Uh, this screen gives you an overview of your empire. You can also perform actions on your star system from here. Uh, this is your empire's dust treasury, as well as the projected incomes, last loss of next term. Uh, this is your empire's approval rating. The more they will produce and research, and the faster your population will grow, Empire Approval is the average of each star system's approval weighted by population. Increase your tax rate. It will increase the dust produced, but will reduce your approval rating. The tax rate will have the opposite effect. Or reducing it will have the opposite effect. The list of star systems can be sorted different ways uh, by clicking on the headers of each column. Clicking on the appropriate cell will allow you to manage that planet's population, assign heroes, change the production queue, and manage the ships in the hangar. Uh, you can also ask the AI to take over a system management, select the area you want the AI to focus on from the drop-down list. This is a quick overview of all the bonuses and penalties factors that currently affect your planet. And this is a list of all the effects generated by your trade routes. Well then, it seems like everyone's actually rather happy, um, which I'm a bit confused about. Wait, the average is happy. So all of these are individually happy, but yet the average is content. Content. Oh, it's different words for, <laughs> yeah for the entirety of the things. Well, let's keep that at the standard because I don't really know what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, let's have a look at the trade routes. There is no trade routes because we can't trade with ourselves apparently. Um, run away. <laughs> End turn. My new fleet should be ready. Oh, it's there in the hangar already. They don't look big enough to me when they're just in the hangar. I guess I should really remember that they're being there, though. Or is this? No, no, it's just been constructed. That's fine, then. And that's a system that I am actually considering colonizing. However, let's create that as a fleet. And we'll move you here. But by the time you get there, we may have changed our mind and want to go to this... ...a blue star system. Next turn. Let's zoom out. Oh, I can't while the game is loading. Say, so let's zoom out a little, because... I know this is only my space at the minute, but I really claim all of this. So I, I want to be able to see all of that. Construction. You built the... ...thing which gives me lots of dust. Good, good, good. Dismiss for now. 
and we're going to grow again very, very soon. Two turns, actually. Let's go to the system. Can I move one of the population over here? How do I colonize it? I need sustainability to be able to colonize it. Are you still saying it's in progress, really? Um. Oh, it's one turn away, that's fine then. But I just thought I haven't actually told anybody else to build anything. I see that's going to be two dust for... Well, jungle doesn't actually give me any extra food. But it would be good preparation for when we get the desert. But then it's only really going to be worthwhile if I have... So screw it then, another missionary ship. As for you guys... Uh, no exploitation. I feel like the exploitation is the first thing that you should do. You don't do anything for a desert. You only do it for a lava. You only do it for arid, which I think this is. you do on planet so because you're an arid this is the only thing that actually makes any different for on arid and generally for on planet so plus two dust per person well that means for every population on there we can do one of them improvements which is going to be good let's come out of here and now have a look at Rigel in we go no into the one that I colonized please Food for on ocean. Basically, because it makes sense, we'll go for that one on here. Uh, progress for ships. And we found a system which we can very much colonize lots and lots and lots of it. So, actually, we're going to be moving on to that and we'll move up our choke point, you know, where we can station our fleets and stuff to this system here. I'm thinking start on the tiny jungle, get lots and lots of food, and grow on to the other ones. So you have new orders to come all the way up there. Oh, that's a dead end. That's a complete and utter dead end. I still want to colonize that one first, because I think we can do that better. Plus free XP on Beta Fleet. Well, I don't have anyone in there, so I guess that XP is wasted. Uh, because you have no orders, come back to the home planet. Oh, that's the quickest route. Damn it. If I'd have known that, he would have gone that well. No, because I guess originally I was planning on colonizing there as well. We'll get this one colonized, then... There's no way I was going to colonize there. Oh, it was... Yeah, that one when it's when it's done. I think it's next turn. And then these two. So we need another two colonizing fleets to finish off our entire constellation. The almost big dippery looking thing. Yeah, that's sort of the pan and the handle. Don't know what this star does, but anyway, ladies and gents, as always, I'd like to thank you for watching. And um, if you can come up with any name for our little constellation here, what do you think it looks like? Um, I'd be very much appreciated, because I think that's one thing. With it having the separate constellations in this game, I would like to name them like we do the planets. But also, any suggestions for the planet names, let me know. But as always, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'm going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye.